Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here, excited to bring some different type of content to the channel. So I'm gonna start off by saying that I'm a TikTok person. I like getting on TikTok. I think there's a lot of cool content on there and people are really creative with the things that they do. So I get on TikTok mainly to give me a good laugh and just to find some funny content. However, I'm also heavily into sports. So the algorithms push a lot of sports stuff my way as well. There's this really cool challenge going on out there, and it's just simple math. People are calling it the sports betting ladder challenge. Basically, what happens is you start with 10 bucks, okay? You take that $10, you make a bet on day number one. The bet has to be at least plus 100 odds. If you're not familiar with sports betting and sports wagering, I'll break down this video and make it very simple for anybody to understand and follow along. But anyways, you need to get the bet to be plus 100 odds. Plus 100 odds is even money. So if you bet a dollar, if you win the bet, you get your dollar back plus another dollar, okay? Um, but anyways, you start with 10 bucks, you get yourself a bet that pays plus 100 odds, and if you win it, the next day when you wake up, now you have $20 in your sportsbook account. Then you do another plus 100 bet on day number two, you take the whole $20 that you have, you, you do another bet and then hopefully you win and now you have 40 bucks. You rinse and repeat this cycle 10 times and your $10 would get you to over $10,000. Now, let's talk about the realistic of that happening, right? Is it gonna happen? Somebody will do it for sure and people have done it before, but it's very difficult. There's a reason why Atlantic City and Las Vegas have multi-million billion dollar construction out there. It's not because <laughs> they lose, right? They're very good at setting odds. They're very good at predicting the uh, sports industry as a whole. And, you know, the house typically always wins. But there's always those exceptions, right? And we're going to try to be one of those exceptions. So I'm going to walk you through day number one of the ladder challenge for me. I'm going to show you the games that I'm picking tonight. And you know what? It's 10 bucks. You know, most people can, can part ways with 10 bucks. Now, I will start off by saying that this is not sports betting advice. Uh, this is not me telling you what to do. This is not me saying, hey, go out here and do the same thing that I'm doing. So I just want to protect myself. This is not advice. This is just me showing you uh, that I'm going to try to do the ladder challenge and see how far that I can make it. Okay. Now, sports wagering is not uh, legal in all states in the United States. There's only select states that it is legal in. So you'll have to check your own states that this is something that you're interested in doing. Uh, if you are and you've never done this before, can I encourage you to check out the description to this video below? The reason I want you to check out the description is because there are three links that I put in there. One is for the DraftKings Sportsbook, which is what you're seeing on my screen right now. The other one is going to be for FanDuel Sportsbook, um, which I'm going to do a wager on there here shortly. And the third one is for the BetMGM app. So uh, if you're somebody who travels to Vegas regularly or maybe you, you know, visit MGM resorts, you can always download that app too and earn uh, real bonuses throughout there that you can use on travel, hotels, food, stuff like that. But anyways, the reason I put my links in there is because if you're going to do this and you've never done this before, you might as well use my referral link. Once you deposit 50 to 100 bucks and once you wager that money, you're going to get free bets back from the sports book, basically a welcome bonus. And I'm going to get a bonus too, uh, in full transparency for you signing up through my links. So uh, help me out there as well. Okay. So we're going to talk about um, what we're doing tonight. Okay. We need to put in a wager to get the plus 100 odds. Now today is January 27th. Uh, it's going on 5 p.m. here, so you know the games are going to be coming up shortly. Well, maybe it's not that late. I can't see what time it is on my computer because it's blocked. But regardless, uh, I have one wager saved. Now, this is my buddy Ray. Ray is going to be participating in this with me. So these are his picks tonight. He made a parlay. So he's taking the Milwaukee Bucks to win by at least four points or more. So you see the minus four here. That means when this game gets started, he is giving the Indiana Pacers four points. So as soon as this game starts, Indiana Pacers are up 4 nothing. even if the score is 0-0. He's doing the same thing with the Miami Heat. Now you can see that the odds on this game are minus 230 for the Bucks and minus four for the Heat. Or I'm sorry, minus 245 for the Heat. 
When you parlay that together, you get a plus 102 odds. So he's doing exactly what we need to do. His $10 is paying out $20.20. So best of luck, Ray. I've got another buddy, JJ, who's going to be joining me along the journey. And I'll be posting um, their progress and my progress, and we'll see um, who can make it. Now, I'm going to start off with a couple different things and the things that I haven't seen people on TikTok doing yet, which is taking advantage of daily bonuses that these sports books give you. So for example, I have one reward here today and it's called the NBA Friday Favorites. Get a 50% boost on the Bucks and Warriors if they both win tonight. So this is gonna be a pre-populated parlay that DraftKings is putting together, okay? So if the Bucks and the Warriors just win, they're going to give you a 50% boost on the payout. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go to the NBA section. I'm going to take the Bucks on the money line. And then we're also going to add the Golden State Warriors. Now that should be a close game, okay? So now you can see on my screen here that I have both those games selected. I'm going to hit the bonus available and I'm going to put in the profit boost here. So now we're at a plus 148 odds. That means we're going to actually it, it, more than double our money if this wins. So $10 is going to pay out $24.89. I'm not sure if you're able to see that on the screen. The text is pretty small, but there it is. So I've made it. $10 pays out $24.89. Now the theory behind the ladder is to do one bet, but I'm super excited, right? So I'm gonna do four. I put $40 into uh, my accounts. I'm gonna make four bets. Hopefully at least one of them wins and we get to move on to day number two tomorrow. Um, if not, maybe we'll, re we'll reload the accounts with 10 bucks and see what happens. Okay, so that's my first bet that I'm doing. I'm taking advantage of that bonus that DraftKings is giving us. Now, I've done some of my own research. Like I said, I'm a big sports nut. It's always hard to predict this stuff, though. I also do like the Milwaukee Bucks to win tonight. Um, so I'm going to go with the same thing that my buddy Ray did. I'm going to spot the Pacers a few points here. Now, the spread is minus 7.5. So Vegas thinks that the Bucks can win by at least 8. And they also think that the Pacers can stay within 8. All right. I'm going to change the spread by doing an alternate spread. So I'm going to go to the game lines section. I'm going to look at the alternate spread. I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway on this particular game here. I'm going to go ahead and do this with the Bucks minus three. The Bucks minus three is a 270 odds. So we need to add some more games in here. We need to add something else to get our odds to a plus 100. That way it pays out even money. All right. I'm going to go over to hockey. I'm going to go to the NHL. I would normally love the Toronto Maple Leafs over the Senators. I still think the Maple Leafs will win, but I don't like Austin Matthews being out and injured right now. He's a very electric player. Um, I'm going to go here at this Florida Panthers and LA Kings game. I like the Panthers to win this game, but you never know what can happen, right? I'm going to give myself one and a half goals on this game. All right. So I'm giving myself one and a half goals. And if you take a look at my bet slip now, we're at a minus 133. So we've got a minus 270 and a minus 360. When we parlay that together, both teams have to win or both teams have to cover this. If they don't, we lose, okay? So we're getting closer to the plus 100 odds. I'm going to stay in the NHL. And let me see here. You know what? I'm not going to stay in the NHL. I'm going to go over to the NBA. I've already got that Bucks game in there. I think they win because Halliburton's out. Turner is questionable tonight. Oh, I'm going to add the Miami Heat. I'm going to add the Miami Heat on the money line at a minus 340, 
when you bet on the money line, that means the team just has to win. Okay, I'm not going with any type of point spread. I'm just saying this team's going to win. Now you're going to see here that we're at we're at a plus 131. Just to see what happens, I'm going to take the Bucks out, and I'm going to change it to the Bucks on the money line, meaning they just have to win, and see what my odds are. Okay, I like this. So we're going to go with this at a plus 125. We need the Panthers um, to cover one and a half. So that means if the final score of the Kings and Panthers game is, let's say the Kings have three goals and the Panthers have two goals, even though the Panthers lost, we get to add plus one and a half to our score. So we would really win that game, even though the Panthers lost by one. We just need the Heat and the Bucks to both win. We're going to bet $10 on that, and our $10 is going to pay $22.54 total. Okay, so there we go. We are locked in on that game as well. Now, what else should we do? We have $10 left over. So let's put together another one um, just for fun, and maybe we'll go in a little bit different of a direction. I do like the Golden State Warriors tonight to win the game. Let's see if we can make it a little bit easier and give ourselves better odds. So we're going to give ourselves six points. Again, I really like the Bucks tonight. Let me see what would happen if we give ourselves points with the Bucks, if that's even possible. We can't. I'm going to stay away from that one just because they're on the road. You never know. Things are things are hard to predict. We're going to go back over to the NHL. I do think the Carolina Hurricanes uh, will beat the San Jose Sharks tonight. At home, I love taking teams at home. Again, I wish I could take the Maple Leafs. I just, Matthews is so electric and such a game changer. Um, I'm, I really like the Panthers to win this game tonight again. But I'm going to go ahead and try to make the bet easier by giving myself one and a half goals. So now we have the Warriors plus six, the Hurricanes just to win, and we also have the Panthers plus one and a half again. Okay, we're going to put that in there for another $10. And that's going to pay $21.23 if we win. So... Theoretically, we get our $10 back plus $11.23 in profit, okay? So that's three different parlays going tonight. Now I'm going to hide my iPad screen here real quick while I log into my uh, FanDuel one. I don't want to share my login credentials with everybody. And then we're going to make a little bit of a different type of bet over here. We're going to do something a little bit different when it comes to this. Let's get my screen back. All right. And on this one, um, on the NBA, we're actually going to go with some player prop bets. So what does player prop bets mean? Uh, that means like we're going to, I'm going to show you. Be easier to show you. Let's do it. So there's a game that I really like tonight. I like the, um, I like some of the Chicago Bull stuff. I like some of the Cavaliers stuff and some of the Grizzly stuff. So let me hit my NBA section. Let me see how that looks on your screen. Okay, you should be able to see that. Okay, we're going to start here at the Memphis Grizzlies and the Timberwolves game. And I think Anthony Edwards is going to score uh, more than 20 points. Okay, guy is solid. He's a scorer. I also think that Ja Morant is going to get 25 or more. Okay. I'm going to lock those in. I'm going to head over to the Cavaliers game. I'm going to go to rebounds. Okay. I think that Mobley is going to get more than six boards tonight. Actually, you know what? I don't like those odds. Ah, let's make it easier on ourselves. Let's see what happens. Minus 1,350 odds. <laughs> Uh, that's not a good one to put in there because it just doesn't help the payout too much. Yet, we're, we're trying to take things that are a little bit easier to hit so that we can get the plus 100 odds with little variance. 
All right, look at my notes here. Oh, yeah, the magic game. Uh, I want to go over to this magic game here. Magic and Heat should be a good contest tonight. Uh, I think Bam is going to get some rebounds out there. So let's see what happens if Bam can get at least eight rebounds. That's that's good. And let's go with Banchero on points. Let's see how easy we can make that one. 15? Bam can get us 15 tonight, right? Okay. Now let's take a look at what our odds are. We're at a plus 125. That's perfect, all right? So we need all of these things to happen in order to win. So we need Bam to get at least eight rebounds, eight or more, and we're good. Uh, we also need Bam to get at least 15 points tonight. So, so you know what? Let's, let me look at something here real quick. Let me look at some different player props on that game. Player points. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I also like Banchero, though, to get 15 as well. I think Banchero will get 15 as well. I think this is a good contest tonight. We're going to bump up our odds here to a plus 203, okay? So we're not exactly staying within the ladder bet uh, parameters. Like, the ladder bet is to just get even money every time. The higher the plus, the harder it is to hit. So now we're at a plus 203. So Vegas is going to pay us more money on this bet because it, it's a harder one to hit. So we got Bam to get eight rebounds. We got Bam to get at least 15 points. We got Paulo to get at least 15 points. We got our boy Anthony Edwards to score 20 points or more. And we got our guy Ja to score 25 or more. So we need you to step up. We need you to hit these boys. We're going to put in our wager here. At $10. So this website is a little bit different when it comes to showing you how much you win. So here on FanDuel Sportsback, we're, we're betting $10. The two win, the 2107, that's your profit, okay? So you would get 2107 on top of your $10 back if you win. So the way that FanDuel and DraftKings show your payout are a little bit different, okay? I just wanted to, to explain that. Okay. And now we're locked in. So we've got it there. So now you see what I mean. Twenty-one. We bet ten dollars. We're gonna profit twenty-one oh seven. Our potential payout is thirty-one oh seven. So we're getting our ten back. All right. So that would be tripling our money tonight if we're able to accomplish that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I got four selections in there to start the ladder bet. Let's just hope one of them wins, so we can get into day number two tomorrow and hopefully get ourselves up to day number ten. Tell me what you think. Tell me do you like this. What are your thoughts? Uh, if you're going to follow along, what are you putting in there tonight for your odds? Hey, I appreciate it, everybody. Remember, this is not sports betting or sports wagering advice. This is me following along with the ladder challenge. That's a trend on TikTok right now. And remember, if you want to participate in this and you haven't ever downloaded any of these sportsbook apps, hey, please, I'm begging you, use my links in the description below. Thanks, everybody.